What is up my crazy subscriber, this is Joe King John 74 and today I'll be talking about something completely overpowered here in Call of Duty Black Ops 6 and how actually pros and top players are using this type of deal to get some badass gameplays. And by the way, yes, this gameplay is actually a good example as to why this perk is overpowered and I'll explain to you guys why along the way. So there is a perk system right now, the perk system is actually pretty good, the problem is that one of them does not have a counter at all. So if you guys do know about the perk system, if you complete every single perk and you actually have the same color across the board, like all the red ones, all the green ones, all the blue ones, you know, it gives you an extra fourth perk. It's a bonus perk. So one of the perks, not the assault perk or the other one that gives you extra points every time you capture an objective, um, one of them actually has, you know, walls. You can actually see the enemies through the walls. It's crazy. And the arguments that I've seen so far on TikTok or even on Twitter, people are saying like, no, it's only for those that are standing still. Like, no, this is actually works against people that are actually still running around. So regardless how fast you're going, you're still going to get caught by this perk regardless of what you do or even perks that you have. I mean, this type of stuff is supposed to be countered by either blind eye or cold blooded. More than likely cold-blooded though, because this is always has been something in every single Call of Duty where cold-blooded takes care of these type of deals, like the AI being detected and you know also walls. So why all of a sudden is it not a deal here in Call of Duty Black Ops 6? I don't even know, but it is completely overpowered. Most of the top players are using this just to not get flanked every time they spawn in, which is pretty badass but at the same time it is a broken perk man it really is i know it doesn't work for search and destroy and everything but you know all the other modes are suffering because of this because of these uh, because of the recon perk so i mean there's counters for the other ones because i know people are going to say like well there's no counters for the assault one or the blue one i mean or the green one i mean the green one you just got to get the enemy off the objective and the red one of course you can just slow down people by stunning them or even throw shot grenades so as you can see there is counters for those bonus perks, but there's none for the blue one. So I don't know how they're going to do it, but the best solution will be either release the cold-blooded perk with an actual cold-blooded type of deal where you won't be detected by this type of thing, or nerf the perk. Nerf the perk to like a certain distance, maybe like by like 20 meters or something. I don't know, but something that doesn't make it go like all the way out towards the whole map, that will be great. Or if not, just nerf it to those that are just standing still, which will make actually more sense. But as far as I see it, it's completely overpowered, man, which is why I did pretty good in this gameplay. And yes, I will abuse it later on so I can get more higher gameplays and stuff like that. But at the same time, the gameplay won't feel genuine. It really doesn't, which is why I don't post like, oh, I got this many kills in a single gameplay, because it doesn't feel genuine at all. Like using this type of perk is like, it's like using the baby monitor on Modern Warfare 2, man. It's completely disrespectful. <laughs> so, uh, but anyways, but yeah, man, this is something that everybody's complaining about. Not only me, because I know people are going to say like, Joe, you suck. You're supposed to blah, blah, blah. Like, but bro, I'm not the only one, okay? I'm, I'm reporting on behalf of those people that do not have a YouTube or even a, an account from Twitter. You know, I'm just saying what they're saying too. I mean, it's completely overpowered, nothing to counter it. So, um, so yeah, guys, tell me your opinion about this whole thing, you know, tell me what you think about the perk, and, uh, it's called the recon perk, by the way, which gives you walls, and you can tell where anybody is at, at all times. Now, this, this, I know they did this because they wanted to stop people from flanking, or actually sneak up behind the spawn points, but it's the worst way to do it. I thought they solved this back in Modern Warfare 2019, to be honest, with that, uh, with that, uh, with that grenade, what's, what's it called? That was a spot grenade, right? The spot grenade was supposed to solve this type of deal. So you can actually have walls, but like only like for two seconds or less. So they solved this thing a while back and now they bring this up? I mean, they already messed up with Vanguard by shooting through the walls. And if anybody's close to your shot, they can be seeding through the walls. They actually nerfed it for a little bit, but it's still pretty a pretty darn good perk to have in Call of Duty Vanguard. But now we're going into Call of Duty Black Ops 6 and we have this type of deal. Now it makes the game a little bit more broken and just gives a lot of people easier access to your location and it's just a whole mess. Now, does this break the entire game to the point where it's unplayable? No. You can actually everybody can have walls and pretty much suffer the same way. But as far as I see it, I mean it's kind of cheating. It's kind of overpowered, man. So, um, 
yeah, that's all I wanted to talk about today, guys. If you guys, any questions, any moans, groans, or complaints, you guys can list them in the in the comment section. I'll read them later. And by the way, before anybody gets butt hurt, yes, this is just my opinion, and no, I'm not forcing it onto anybody. So, if you guys think the other way, I mean, that's good. I mean, anybody can enjoy this perk at any time. So, that is it, guys. Leave a like, leave a comment, tell me what's up, and I'll see you guys on the next one.